Hi, and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Rafina Antonetti, and today we are going to continue and finish Psalms 35. As we have spoken for the past few days, we know that this psalm had a form of lamentation because David was distressed. He was agonizing over the fact that his enemies were coming after him and trying to kill him. So we are reading from Psalms 35, 19 to 28. Do not let those who are wrongfully my enemies rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me without cause wink their eye. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. They open their mouths wide against me. They say, aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. You have seen this, O Lord. Do not keep silent, O Lord. Do not be far from me. Well, we know that the Lord is very near always to us. Wake yourself up and arise to my right and to my cause, my God and my Lord. Our Lord never slumbers nor sleeps. Judge me, vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to our righteousness and justice, and do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their heart, aha, That is what we wanted. Do not let them say we have swallowed him up and destroyed him. Let those be ashamed and humiliated together who rejoice at my distress. Let those be clothed with shame and dishonor who magnify themselves over me. Let them shout for joy and rejoice who favor my vindication, and want what is right for me. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who delights and takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue shall declare your righteousness, justice, and your praise all the day long. Those who hated David often worked against him, plotting to kill him. He prays the Lord would deny them that opportunity, though. And we see in the earlier verses, David pointed out that his enemies had no valid reason to oppose him. He had been kind to them, and they repaid his goodness with betrayal and evil. When he says here in 3519, do not let those who are wrongfully my enemies rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me without cause wink their eye. It was usually a gesture of or signal between criminals that were up to no good. And we can find uses of this phrase several times in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 613, Proverbs 1010, Proverbs 1610. 30. And this figure of speech was implying that people using secretive methods to plot another person's misery. And apparently, David's enemies were confident he would fall to their slander and attacks. These enemies failed to see one thing, though. They failed, or let me put it this way, they failed to remember to see that the Lord was with David and would not let him suffer defeat or disgrace unless he wanted to because he had a plan and he had a purpose, just like with us. We cannot forget that we have an enemy and that there is a people that hate us because we are Christians, because we are followers of the way. But also, just as David, everyone did not hate him. He had a people that loved him and followed him and would die for him no matter what. Remember, when David was running, he he was not uh, alone. He had warriors. He had wives. He had children. He had a nation with him. And throughout this Psalms, though he was pleading his cause to God, he had people praying 
and still praising God because God's hand was upon him. There will always be people that will go, Aha! I knew it. I knew they were like that. I knew they would fall. You ever hear that? You ever hear people say that? Has anybody ever said that to you? You slip with your mouth or you get angry. Whatever the case may be, that did not look righteous to them or holy to them. And they would say, you're a Christian? Or maybe they would say like this, really, you're a Christian? And this comes not only from unbelievers, but it comes from believers. It comes right, it, it comes from our own people. Like David, we have frailties, flaws, we're fragile, we fall short, but we are still his people. And God loves us. He protects and he preserves us for his good purpose. Let us not be the people that sees a brother or sister fall and rejoice over it and accuse them or slander them, but pray for them and, if at all possible, help restore them. Listen, we have enough problems of our own. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus predicted undeserved persecution for his followers. He said this in John 15, 19. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. And then he goes on to say in 1525, John 1525, but the word that is written in their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. And David said the same thing. They hated me without a cause. I did nothing wrong. I've only tried to do good. But Philippians 4, 4 through 7 says this to us. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all people. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your request known to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I love the Psalms because it just shows us that in the time of despair, in the time that we can't do anything for ourselves, we can't move, God is with us, and he will vindicate us. And sometimes it's not at the right, not at the right moment that you think is the right moment, but it will be his right moment. And what I loved mostly about the Psalms is that at the end of each part, David encouraged his people to rejoice and worship God. And he himself constantly honored God because great is our Lord. I thank you so much for following us and for being a part of the Talk Straight Bible family. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And until we meet again, shalom.